Hi, I'm Jamie Fowler for IamRogue.com. Uh, I'm here in Los Angeles. As you can see, I'm surrounded by zombies. The zombies are attacking. I had a chance to talk to actor and comedian Rob Corgi about his new film, Warm Bodies, which is based on the popular novel about zombies, as well as his work on Children's Hospital. No! Rob Corgi, Warm Bodies. Cool, so I, I love this movie. I thought mm -hmm. it was really great. Thank you. And one of the interesting things I thought about you choosing this role, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is it seems like you don't have a lot of lines to memorize. You yeah. can kind of just sort of grunt and say a couple words. Was, was that kind of fun to sort of just be in the moment and get to do that? Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. A lot, and a lot easier. Uh, but uh, yeah, and that, that's exactly what it was too. It's just like there's not a lot to prepare in the same way that there is on other movies. So the preparation is making sure you're in the moment. Right. You know what I mean? Like zombies would be. Right, and just hungry and kind of grunting hungry and, doing and thing. just just in that moment, not remembering the second before, or not caring about a second later. It's kind of cool to be a zombie, right? Yeah, yeah. Did you work on the zombie walk? How did you kind of did you watch zombie movies? How did you kind of get that feel for how your guy would move yeah. and stuff? I, I watched. I, I've 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 probably seen every zombie movie anyway, but like, uh, what I did is very like little things. Like I tend to be. A little duck toad, okay. You know, and so I just like started by by being a little bit of, a little turning them in like that, and walking like that, and just kind of walking around like that. And it made me made my body feel different, you know, and it made it made me carry myself in a different way and like lead with a different part of my body, and everything else just sort of fell into place. That's cool. And you did, Nicholas was telling me you did a little bit with him. You kind of yeah. did some. I mean, the Circus du Soleil guy came in and did. Yeah, yeah, yeah was, was that helpful? Did. It was helpful. I, it was helpful. It was really embarrassing. <laughs> what do you uh, mean? Yeah, it was just you know, it's like the Zombie worst class. college right. acting class ever. Like be a tree. <laughs> feel the yeah. Um, <laughs> breathe from your ass. You know. Uh, so it was a little embarrassing, but it was. It did help. Yeah. Every little bit helped. Uh, another observation I made in the film, and tell me what you think about this. Uh, with the exception of, I think, one M83 song I heard, it seems like the zombie apocalypse also destroyed any music made after 1989. Did you notice that in seeing the <laughs> Probably, film? Probably, right? Probably. <laughs> There's a lot up. of Dylan, a lot of Guns N' Roses. It was all wiped away. Yeah, just, it was there, all just wiped another away. casualty of the zombies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what are some of your favorite zombie movies? You mentioned you're a big fan of them. I love all the Romero ones, yeah. especially the day... Day of the Dawn of the Dead, Dawn the second Dead. one, yeah, yeah. The, the mall one. That's a pretty good one. Shaun of the Dead is awesome. Yeah, you know, and uh, I love, yeah, I love all of them, man. I can't think of, even like the the kind of campy '80s ones where it was kind of a comedy, like the Return of series, mm -hmm. you know, because um, it was just so so dumb and 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 kind of funny. You mentioned Shaun of the Dead. I mean, this film obviously a lot of humor and mm -hmm. sort of the drama and the serious, the yeah. serious action. Is it difficult sort of balancing those lines? No. Oh, it to be in the in the scene. Yeah, balancing sort of the moments of comedy with the moments of sort oh. of more drama. Yes. And, yeah. Yes. But I mean, it's mostly like that's just Jonathan's job, and I have confidence in him that he and he's a master of that kind of thing of tone. So. Can't think about it. Just let it ride. Yeah, just let him go. Yeah. Did you like working with Jonathan? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's great. He had a great vision for this. I'll man? do anything he tells me to do. Yeah, awesome. That hey, man. congratulations on the Emmy for uh, Children's Hospital. Thank you. Yeah, very cool. I, I, it's are, crazy. <laughs> did you ever think... You just you reminded were... me. I was like, God, you did win an Emmy. Wow. <laughs> did you ever think... Emmy winner, Rob, Rob Cordry. God, no. No. <laughs> That's so crazy. I have an Emmy, a fake Emmy, from uh, The Daily Show. Okay. Because, you know, the producers get, get the Emmy. Right, And right. the... the but John was nice enough to give me and Ed Helms and Sam B an Emmy that whatever year it was. Okay. But on the back of it, so it's just like it's a real Emmy because he's like, oh, you've contributed to this. On the back it says commemorative. So Sam B calls it her commemi. Commemi, right. Yeah. And Jill's Hospital movie, did I hear that that might be happening? Yeah, like basically like Jill with the, just with the cast and creative team. You know what I mean? Like it's, uh, so it's, it'll be a parody of some kind of movie genre, and it'll oh. be different characters, but oh, okay. same company. Oh, awesome. Same yeah. troupe, comedy troupe, as we say. Same troupe. Excellent. And same kind of like absurd tone.